Not all AI sales agent builders are created equal. Some of them are easy to use, but they lack some power, and others are insanely flexible, but they take forever to set up. After testing dozens of AI sales agent builders, I have narrowed it down to the top three contenders, and we're going to be comparing and reviewing them in this video today. This is going to save you hours of trial and error because I'm going to show you exactly which tool is best for which use case. So let's jump right into it. So we're going to be ranking these AI agent builders in five different categories. The first being how easy is it to use? How beginner friendly is it? The second is its AI capabilities. How well does it handle conversations? How good is it actually when it comes to building an AI agent? Number three, integrations. How easy is it to integrate it? into different systems. We all know that's incredibly important. Number four, how future proof is it? Will this still be relevant one to two years from now? And the fifth one, obviously very important is cost and value. How expensive is it and how worth it is it for the money? And all of these options are relatively affordable, I would say. So let's introduce the contestants, my three favorite AI sales agent builders, which I'm going to be going over in this video. The first being VoiceFlow, which is known for its drag and drop simplicity. If you go to voiceflow.com, you will see that it allows you to build AI customer support agents with complete control. The support side really is a focus here. However, it can also work for AI sales agents. To give you guys an overview of what this looks like, it's a very simple drag and drop interface. You can have conditions and logic. There's different AI nodes. There's different API calls that you can make, but we'll get into more in-depth details for that later. The second one is Flowwise. Flowwise is built on Langchain and it offers amazing customization when it comes to building AI agents. If you go to flowwiseai.com, you're gonna find this website. As you can see, it says you need to request access. And that is because if you want to use Flowwise, you need to actually host it yourself on GitHub. We'll get into details on that later. This is what the Flowwise interface looks like. You have an agent with an overall system prompt. This system prompt controls your entire conversation. So compared to voice flow, there's less logic. With this agent, you can give it access to memory. You can give it access to open AI, obviously, and you can give it access to a knowledge base such as Quadrant, as well as many other tools different options you can connect it to be able to search the internet you can connect it to your crm with tools etc and the third contestant is n8n which was originally an automation tool similar to zapier or make but it now has ai agents implemented in there if you go to n8n.io you can see that you can get started for free so they have a free trial if you navigate over to pricing it starts at 20 a month and this is what n8n looks like you have an agent you have full workflows and you can build anything that you would build inside of Zapier or Make over here. So you can take actions in app. As you can see, they have a ton of different integrations, whatever CRM you want, whatever tool you want, whether it's email or Google Sheets or Cloudflare or even crypto stuff such as CoinGecko. And it and really has it all when it comes to automation, but can it hold up when it comes to AI sales agents? So let's first cover the ease of use category. I've scored it in this following way. I've given voice flow an eight out of 10 because it's a super easy drag and drop. I just showed you guys, but it's very, very easy to take certain elements, drag it onto the interface. It's simple to use, it's easy to use, and it was the tool that I started out with back in the day when we started building AI agents. I've given Flowwise a 6 out of 10 score simply because you need to self-host it on GitHub. Luckily, I have a tutorial video on this channel in the Flowwise playlist where I show you exactly how to deploy it on your own hosting. So that makes it relatively easy to follow, but there is a little bit more friction there. When it actually comes to building the agent yourself, I would say it's pretty straightforward and not that different from Voiceful. You can just drag and drop elements onto your canvas, write the prompt, connect it to different things, and you're good to go. And finally, N8N, I've given a five out of 10. It does have a steep learning curve, even though you are able to get the cloud hosted version of N8N. As you can see, these N8N workflows can get incredibly complex over here. And this is an AI sales integration that we made for a client, which is why I can't show as many details but there are a lot of elements that flow into it and to get the hang of this automation complexity combined with ai agents does take some time to learn so when it comes to pure ease of use i've given voice flow the crown but will they hold up when it comes up to other categories let's find out the second category is ai capabilities how good is it when it actually comes to building ai agents i've given voice flow for this a five out of ten 
It's great for chatbot style builds. It's great for customer support. However, it lacks the smart ability of AI agents. So I've showed you guys in Flowwise, you simply have your AI agent, your tool agent in this case, and you have one big system prompt, which allows you to use the smartness of an AI agent. It can autonomously decide when to execute which tools. So for example, if you have a tool for saving email addresses, it will automatically recognize the email and save it in a smart way. Whereas in VoiceFlow, you would need to build out extra AI steps and conditions in order to make a solution like that work. For that reason, I've given it a five out of 10. I've given Flowwise a nine out of 10 because it has AI agents, it has AI agent teams, and even more capabilities. When it comes to pure AI capabilities, I would say Flowwise is really top of the line. So if you guys look on the left-hand side, we have chat flows, we have agent flows, which where you can make full agent teams that work together as a team in your company would. They have marketplaces for different kinds of templates, they have tools, they have assistants, etc. So I would say Flowwise is really top of the line when it comes to this sort of stuff. And N810, I've given it an eight out of 10 because it allows you to build AI agents but it lacks the agent teams and the agent flow capabilities unless you actually build that out manually, which you can, and I might do that in a future video, but there's a little bit more friction there when it comes to actually harnessing the full power of AI. Moving on to a very, very important category, which is integrations. Integrations are a key element of any successful AI sales agent build without integrating into a customer CRM, without integrating into your communication channels, without integrating to other tools that your customer may use inside of their business, it really is useless. So going through integrations, I've ranked N8N at a nine out of 10. It's an AI builder and an automation tool all combined into one, which just makes it super, super easy. I mean, I just showed you guys a little bit earlier, you can connect it to Google Calendar. Let's say your customer uses the HubSpot CRM. You could simply search for HubSpot and do all kinds of actions directly inside of N8N. So this is really the full solution. You can have the AI capabilities and the automation, which allows you to integrate into third parties very, very easily. I've given VoiceFlow on this a six out of 10 because it does allow you to integrate into your website very easily. I believe they have phone integrations, they have WhatsApp. So there's a lot of advantages when it comes to integrating into communication channels when it comes to voice flow. However, if you want to integrate into different things such as HubSpot, for example, you would need to end up doing custom API calls to be able to integrate to those platforms. And finally, I've given Flowwise on this the lowest score. It's a five out of 10 because Flowwise really focuses on AI agents mainly and almost any third party integration will need to be done with a custom tool. So if we're just gonna open a custom tool, we're gonna search here for custom tool. If you drag that in, this custom tool is what you can give your agent to be able to access things such as, for example, HubSpot. You would need to create a new custom tool where you would have to have a JavaScript function. And this JavaScript function would need to call something like make, Zapier, or even N8N. So there is an additional tool that you're gonna need to use to make this system fully working when it comes to integrations. So I would say that is why I gave this the lowest score of five out of 10. The next category is cost and value. I've already slightly touched on this. So I'm gonna keep it short and brief. VoiceFlow gets a seven out of 10. It has a free version available. However, once you want to go into production, that's no longer going to be enough. VoiceFlow does have a free plan. However, you are not able to use this in production, I would say. And the first available option for the pro plan is $50 per month per editor, which really allows you to bring your first projects into production and deliver it to your clients. Flowwise, I've given a nine out of 10 when it comes to cost and value because it is open source. You just need to pay hosting. As I said, video is in the Flowwise playlist on this channel on how exactly you can set this up and host it. Hosting is gonna cost you between $8 and $20 a month, maybe 30 if you're running a lot of applications on it. But really it's a nine out of 10 for me because it's it's the cheapest option out here. And finally, N8N matches FlowWise on this. It is a nine out of 10 uh, because you can host it open source as well. So then your hosting would also come to about eight to $20, maybe 30. I know we have some instances where we pay $40 because we are heavy users of N8N or you can go with the paid plan, which is starting at 20 euros per month, which is about $22, $23. So it is very, very affordable to get into and you can get it basically for free and just pay the hosting as well. A side note here is if you're a complete beginner and you don't know how to self-host things, you don't know how to manage it, you don't know how to update N8N, et cetera, I would say going for the cloud version here for $20 a month is gonna be your best bet. Now, obviously we all know the AI space is evolving so quickly so making sure that the tool that you use and that you learn is future proof, I would say does play a big role. 
I would give voice flow on this a five out of 10. It's good for chatbots. It's good for agent builds where you have some logic, some conditional logic in there. But I feel like sales automation is evolving. We're moving more towards these autonomous smart AI agents. And I do feel like voice flow currently is slacking there a bit. So I'm not sure if it's going to be relevant a couple of years from now. We'll have to wait and see. However, flow wise, on the other hand, gets an eight out of 10 for me. It's going to stay incredibly relevant for AI agents. They're usually the first to release new features, to update things. They're very, very quick. They have a very helpful discord. I would say when it comes to AI agent builds, flow wise isn't going anywhere. It's going to stay top of the line, in my opinion. And finally, NA10 for me gets a nine out of 10, which is the highest score on the list. I just believe that automation combined with AI agents is going to be something which is going to be needed across industries. I wrote down here forever, and I do think it may be needed forever. Obviously, we don't know what's going to happen 10 years from now, but I would say it's definitely the best bet for the medium to long term, couple years, five to 10 years, definitely. Building automations inside of a business is going to stay relevant and adding AI on top of that just makes it even more relevant for the next couple of years. So that's why I gave that a nine out of 10. So the final reveal, who wins? Obviously, you need to make your own judgments based on what I told you, what the best solution is for you. But I've scored it in this way. Voice flow gets 31 out of 50 points. Flowwise gets 37 out of 40 and N8N gets 40 out of 50. However, you can actually combine all of these three solutions into one solution, which allows you to make it even more powerful. I have videos on this channel showing you how to integrate voice flow and Flowwise, So you can go check that out. And we're going to be pumping out a lot more content on these sort of things in the near future. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. If you're interested in learning more about this completely for free, join our free community. It's link down below first link in the description to get access to templates resources tutorial videos and a lot more content coming out in the future we're going to go big in 2025 so if you're looking to build ai sales agents and want to learn from the best first link in the description completely for free join the community and i'll see you there